Tuco is a very new tube compressor with a feedback topology. With its wonderfully musical sound and concise intuitive controls, it's ideal for characterful compression of buses, individual instruments and vocals, and even full mixes. Let's take a look. At the top of the compressor section, the compressor mode lever switches between four combinations of attack speed and compression ratio. Modes 1 and 2 deliver slow and fast compression at a variable ratio between about 1.5 to 1 and 3 to 1 depending on the source material. While modes 3 and 4 apply variable limiting from around 4 to 1 to 10 to 1, again at slow and fast attack times respectively. When you want to retain the transients in the signal, with drums for example, a slow attack setting allows the all-important initial hit of each drum to burst through at full volume before compression begins. For smoother sounds, basses, vocals, pads, etc., you'll want a fast attack setting compressing the whole signal rather than letting the attack portion through at full volume. The amount knob sets the volume level threshold that the input signal has to exceed in order to initiate compression. As the amount is raised, the threshold drops and more and more of the input is compressed, ultimately arriving at full compression of the whole thing when the amount reaches the fully clockwise position. While the compression attack time is determined by the compressor mode, the release time is manually adjusted via the release knob. Fully anti-clockwise, the signal returns from its compressed level to its natural level almost immediately after dropping below the threshold. Turn release clockwise and the compressor takes longer and longer to let go, continuing to reduce the volume of the signal even after it drops back below the threshold. Setting the release correctly depends on the tempo of the track, the nature of the source material and how much pumping or breathing you want to bring out. The mix knob sets the balance between the dry and compressed signals prior to both hitting the saturation circuit, enabling parallel compression to be applied. That is, blending the transients of the dry signal with the sustain of the compressed signal. When dialing in parallel compression, you'll want a fast attack compressor mode and a long release time, since the goal is to crush the transients with compression, then bring them back up with the dry signal. Clicking the mix knob label reveals two modal options that affect the way the dry and compressed signals are blended, before and after output control. In before output control mode, the dry signal is automatically gain compensated to match the level of the wet signal, so you don't have to balance the two yourself. The output knob controls the level of the mix signal. In the more traditional after output control mode, the level of the wet signal is set using the output knob, allowing manual balancing of the wet and dry signals independently of the mix setting. This is how, this is now, no more chaos where I go. Tuco also features a high pass filter on the sidechain circuit. This is useful for preventing low frequency content within frequency rich signals triggering the compressor when you don't want it to. For example, if you find that the bottom end of your kick drum is making Tuco overreact when compressing a drum kit bus, raise the cutoff to filter it out of the detection circuit and reduce the effect. The 
The more compression is applied to the input signal, the more the overall output level drops due to the loudest parts of the signal being brought down in volume. You can compensate for this by raising the output knob and or clicking the label below the amount knob to enable auto makeup gain, which maintains a consistent output level regardless of compression. At the very end of Tuco's signal path is a tube style saturation module, the input gain of which is set by the drive knob. From gentle warming at low levels, to fabulously crunchy distortion at its clockwise extreme. Alongside the AB comparison switch and presets menu at the top of the Tuco interface, the stereo mode menu offers a choice of channel processing styles. Mono mode mixes a stereo input pair down to mono, Stereo Vintage applies the same gain reduction based on the sum of left and right to both channels, while Stereo Modern analyzes each channel independently for gain reduction, then combines the two and applies the maximum gain reduction on either to both. And in dual mono mode, Tuco effectively becomes a pair of compressors, one working on the left channel, the other on the right. <laughs> 